Hey there, Boots Owen here. Relatively quick video, perhaps. I have before me what was once a Von House 18 volt lithium ion cordless 2 in 1 nail and staple gun. The charger works, the battery works, all that was fine, but it wasn't stapling, it just wasn't doing anything. It's quite an interesting thing, so I thought I'd take a picture of it. To get it apart, you take all the screws out of the plastic and then the springs on the trigger jump out at you. This thing's dead and we ain't fixing it. And you'll see why. It's got an air compressor. It's quite interesting, I thought. So it's got a little DC motor here. So this is... The, the nails come out here. And there's a cartridge underneath of nails or a mag magazine. And this thing goes up on top. And there's a hammer. There's a, a, a cylinder here. So this plastic piston rises up, I guess... Probably override it all. I don't know. The cylinder goes up and pushes up a load of air, which then shoots out a hammer in here. And the hammer is that's the hammer head there, and it should be connected to this fellow right down in there via this piece of metal, like so. That has sheared and broken off, and I think. I think that is that I could try I wonder if I take out these screws I could try to put something there to clamp it onto this side and we might get it going I'll try that but I think it's dead so I've taken out the two screws on the head there and this should jimmy off yeah there it is there's an o-ring seal and a plastic thing and then there's the aluminium piston which side would it come out I'll try pushing it out the top just like that, double O-ring, or two O-ring seals. I don't really want to wipe the grease off it. And you can see how it's dyed there. It doesn't have much meat. There's a little plug pushed in, friction fit probably, holding that on. Now I could put a nut and bolt there, which is a bit, well, I don't know. An M4 with a nylon thread, a nylon locking, locking bolt. Let's try. It's not going to get any more broken. So I don't know if the strength of this will do it, but let's put it in. Does it fit? No, it won't fit. Hey, will it? Just about. I would prefer, actually, if it came the other way. We should have space in the cylinder, either side. So that will go in there. If that would thread in here, that would be even better. Hurt my hand here, am I? on the end where there's a bit of marring so let's drill that out to a four mil hole back in a sec so i suspect that this needs to hang loose like that not not tight on so a nylon nut will do the trick hopefully this is long enough to get the nylon grip on it don't know yeah it will be i think Nope, it won't. Let's do it this way around. Let's put that head on there. Let's put that like that. Might get away with it. So I've tightened it up and then backed it out so that it's just that little bit loose. You can't tell. And how does this go? Which way up was this? Don't remember. It'll blow up if it's wrong. I better go back and look at the video. Did I even have the video of that? I did have a video of that. Let's turn it the other way around because it's meant to be the other way around. There we go. Pop that in. It's the broken part. This is the. The working side. Before, before it was making the motor noises and nothing else. Now I'm hoping we'll get something out of it. Tighten those down. 
this piston has a lot of glue on it on the top so we'll just give that a wipe around to help it get in i hope i didn't put a load of dust into it but what are you going to do it's not it's, well, if it works it works and if it doesn't now i thought it needed to be cleaner that's what i thought oh, or pull that out again but i need to clean this a bit what i'm going to do is put some of this grease onto this seal here because i think i've wiped it off when i was drilling I think that's like a rubber bumper stop there. So which way round would it go? If it was gonna go here. Oh, I want to clean this as well because it's all a bit filthy. I have a feeling that might have been the issue is that it was a bit grubby, that sliding thing. Where's the part that it slides in? Don't lose those springs. There's the magazine, that's what it slides in. It's got a sensor on it, and it's got a little nub there, I think, is the guide. Oh, well, I'm getting confused now. So that goes like that. This goes like this. That can go that way. Can't, I can't see, there's a little groove there and I can't see which side that slides on. There it is. I think it goes this way, is it? Yeah, like that. Okay, let's leave it like that. Pull it out, push it in. Seems good so far. And there's a few screws to put back here, different sizes. Let's get them in. I'll come back at the next tricky bit and you need to see it. So whenever you're tightening up something like this with an aluminium head, it's basically a cylinder head off an engine. Get them all finger tight and then work around so that you're kind of torquing them down at the same rate. I don't know that the pattern matters in this case. In fact, I wonder if you even bother doing this at the factory. Probably just rag them all together. But I can do it. Give it a bit of love. So I'm just trying to bring the torque up somewhat evenly on them all. I think these aren't, there's no seal on this side, so that'll do me. That goes back like this. I think. Now I've got to snap the. bits together and figure out how to get the plug back in and I'm going to figure out how to get this switch back in now because without it we're going nowhere there was another spring there it is A look at that i think that's right so i don't, I don't know what the little gray fellow does is it a pre thing or a light or something like that Didn't, i don't know that i even noticed that button on it let's try and flip it over this way so it doesn't all fall apart on me tuck in the cables down here oh i lost another thing another switch just popped off it goes on there to that circuit board down there This cable comes out down here. No, it doesn't want to. All right, flip. Put that back down in there. This is the trickiest part without whatever jig these things would have come with originally. Just lost the switch again. You should laugh at this point because. There's nothing else to do.
What am I struggling with now? Something's not right. get one screw in I'd be happier. The bottom of it is not in correctly yet. Mm, not bad. And this fellow clicks in there and that flips over. We hold this together, flip. Too much for this plastic i'd say so i'm trying to be gentle so that goes in there and there's a screw on top holding that magazine okay and then there's two screws here i've got to rebuild this end so rebuilding this i don't remember the nuts and bolts of this at all all right, so that's the nail pushing fellow. If this works, I will be amazed at the fact that I got it together at all. <clears throat> so I think this must clamp on here. There's a bit of stuff in there, I'll get that off as well. I think that's what happens is they get sticky and the thing itself is not that strong or capable. There we go. I think the big ones go on here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. See you later, drill. Uh, there's two more here. Is that right? And then there's two more here. Are they no, they hold this on. So this this has to go on first. Yeah. Right. That's the safety micro switch that detects the presence. Of this fellow here, so it, it plunger here pushes up onto that little piston there and that hits the micro switch. I have two more screw holes there. So I'm wondering if they go on first because I can't see anywhere else to put some screws and I think that's probably where it is. And that would have saved me a lot of time. Maybe you'll never see it. Maybe I'll edit it out in the video. Two screws in there. Good and tight. Rent aluminium. And this one should snap in like that. Four more screws. Two small and two longer. Something like that. Okay, screws in. Trick's working. Switch is working. Some screws to go back in. Try to be gentle. Right, 
What more is there to do? One more weird screw. There's some kind of a handle thing here that's meant to hold something on, I imagine. Don't know what. Don't know what it does. I'll put it back on. No. Nuts falling out here. In fact, that might have been the solution for the black nylon locking nut that would have gone inside. All right. Battery. Battery in. There's a switch here. Single firing, continuous firing, or contact firing, not continuous. Um, I don't know what the grey button does. There's an LED here. There's an LED here with the uh, lights. Uh, LED red flashing is a jam. Red LED, low battery. Green LED, no nails. I know there's no nails in it. Come on, magazine. If I screwed this shut or something. No. There it is. Nope, we're okay. Um, I had a set of big nails somewhere. Fawn house. Oh. What do you think? The light's coming on. Nothing. Oh, dear me. The motor used to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay single firing oh, there we go seems to be working um shot clean through that there try again so it's uh yeah it's certainly shooting nails uh if i want to put it further down i gotta roll it this way mm, it's very stiff Try that. I'd like it to go the whole way in. I'm not sure what that that grey button there does. Because it seems to work without touching it. So put it on contact firing. Oh, right, okay. So we're contact firing. If I hold everything... I think Von House, we're back in action. I don't know if that would affect it. It's certainly, well, it is what it is. It's all bearing on one side now. So it's, instead of having twice that little area there, one on each side of the cylinder, it's only got one. But I presume that I've left it a bit loose. The hammer should hit into the groove anyway. You know, it should hit the bar I don't know. Or the plunger, the piston should hit the hammer. I, I don't know. Von House. It's working. I'm pleased with that. I, I didn't expect that to happen at all. Sweet. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.